Darren, you and Michelle are getting married in the show. How was it sort of nailing that family dynamic? Because as it said throughout, the herd comes first. So uh, there, there's, it's not as simple as just loving one another. There's a lot of problems that can arise. Definitely, and I think uh, Jack's <laughs> unawareness maybe of a, of a lady's feelings or wants, he doesn't realize that how crushing that's going to be to her too. Because of course, you know, if we don't have the cattle, we don't have our livelihood. We can't even afford a house or a wedding. But uh, it's not quite how it goes for the lady sometimes. Definitely. Michelle, how rewarding was it just getting the share scenes with Helen Marin and getting to see how she works, you know, firsthand? It was really special, kind of surreal. And I, at first I was really intimidated, but Helen is so kind and um, she makes you feel really comfortable on set. And so I think that's something that's, that's a gift about her. And Darren, uh, what was your favorite aspect of working on a period piece? Because it had to be wild to walk on set and just suddenly be transported 100 years in the past. You know, it's really awesome because they don't spare any expenses around here. So when we went up Uptown Butte uh, and it's all decked out looking like the 1920s and we've got Model T's driving around and I'm in this horse navigating through the, the traffic and, you know, they got the peanut guys on the mm -hmm. side. It, it just feels so real. It just feels like you're then getting to react as opposed to having to come up with something and fake it. And even the clothes, when, as soon as you slip those on, yeah, hair, everything is so hats. authentic. Yeah. It helps a lot. So that's, it's really fun to get to do that and to learn about your past while you get to work too. Yeah, Michelle, you know, Yellowstone's become an institution at this point. It's so huge. What did it mean for you to have such an important role and, you know, tell this great story set in the 1920s? I mean, kind of, like I said, when I, I found out I was working with Helen, it's just very surreal. And, and I think it's so cool that Yellowstone has such a large fan base and so many people are so... Um, like obsessed with these characters and so to enter into a, a universe like that I just I think there was pressure but I was just excited and I felt really grateful for the opportunity that that I was given and Darren my last question you know working with Harrison Ford that's a living legend how great was it getting to share scenes with him and you know seeing how he works on and off screen it's unreal it's a dream come true really you know Growing up, watching him and, and being such a fan of him and his work, and idolizing him really, I had to slap myself multiple times on set, being like, holy cow, I'm doing this for real. I'm here with Harrison Ford. This is Han Solo. This is Indiana Jones. And he's such a cool guy too. The other day we were sitting uh, waiting to film. Um, we were in his SUV and he's just cranking blues and jazz and he's grooving in the front seat getting ready and I'm in the back watching him just like, I'm never going to forget this moment. This is this is a dream come true. It's so cool.